I'm a student at UMass Boston, and um, I would like to first present my thanks for the very thorough analysis that we got for you know, everything that's been happening and the idiosyncrasies in the air world and you know, you know what air spring has brought to the air world. Um, I'd like to bring it full circle over and go back to the uh, what you referred to earlier as the um, Moroccan Harvard Moroccan Week. Um, as you know, the Arab Spring has also, or the Middle East and the Arab Spring has also kind of made its way to Morocco. Um, I just have a question, which kind of, it, you know, um, I'm not explaining it, but um, I am a big fan of your, you know, theorem of the um, um, Timbred paradigm and your idea as to of um, kind of how to bring the Middle East and uh, countries in North Africa to a level where, you know, they are democratic countries able to provide, um, where people are able to live, um, uh, to live out their citizenship and have, and enjoy the full rights of citizenship with equal rights and with everybody's, um, you know, being equal. Um, that brings me to one thing. Um, I have a question first, um, is that, why haven't you come out flat out and said monarchy system, which is the heart of Morocco, uh, being an authoritarian system, being a totalitarian system, is something that is against everything that the democracy that you envision the Arab world to be living in, um, that is something that will hinder the development or kind of the progression of uh, democracy as you see it. Thank you. Thank you for the question. <laughs> uh, I think I said my view of the Moroccan monarchy will be very clear. In fact, so clear that I've been, in a sense, forced to take a distance from my own country. Because, okay. Now, the question which you pose is about monarchy versus republic. I happen to think, in the conjuncture of today, may not be the case tomorrow, that the easiest path for Morocco to have a, 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 a democracy, to be able to build a democracy, was is with a Moroccan institution, with a constitutional monarchy. It may not be the case tomorrow, but today. Now, monarchies are not exceptions, they're not divine, they're human constructions. People have built them and they can be fashioned by people, and they can be eradicated by people if they're not viable anymore. That's a decision for the Moroccan people to take ultimately. And uh, as a Moroccan, I would respect that the day will come. I seriously think that Moroccans, Jordanians, everybody, have outgrown the institutions they're living in. Morocco, Morocco can live without a monarchy. That's not a problem. The problem is what is the less, less costly path towards the democracy. I happen to think, in the context of today, still reforming the, 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 the monarchy is the easiest path. It's the less costly path to... Uh, I think the system is not reformable. I think the system has a lot of problems and not be reformed easily. But it won't happen overnight and it needs a lot of pressure. It needs a process of imposition. And the forces that are present today, forces in civil society and forces outside of the political forces are the not the forces inside the political game. Because those are inside the political game are essentially about cooptation, about government portfolios, about the privileges of power, about the economic perks, and not about change. And I said that. Republic should be. Moroccans are adults, they're seeking to be citizens, 
to be in power, and ultimately it's their decision under what regime they want to be. And if the monarchy cannot reform itself, and if the monarchy is faced with such a catastrophic uh, perspective, well, what can I say? Tough luck. Thank you.